Hello, I'm also discussing a Maltese oil painting, Anthony Caruana, 1905 to 1986. This artist is not well known in Malta. Um, I don't really know why, because there's an awful lot of them around with very, with very distinctive signatures. And um, there are many Caruanas. So be careful when you're buying a Caruana. Some are very expensive, some are not very expensive, some are very well known, some are less well known. But this, this artist is with prolific and 20th century and not very well known and the price are low so I'll, I'll now tell you the problem with this picture the problem with this picture there is a Maltese artist is that I can't locate where it is and that hammers the price and it drives the price down tenfold if this was a accurately provably identifiable local Maltese scene because of the size of it and the, and the relative age and the colours and the, and, the, and, the, and the subjects, you've got, you know, you have a holy trinity of sunshine, sea, a boat, and of course, beyond that, you have countryside, ple a pleasant rural scene, characteristic Maltese buildings with small windows and flat roofs. You have, you have this beautiful scene, but I, I just can't work out where it is. The, uh, it could be Gozo, it could be Malta, I don't know. I, I think the problem with this artist, I've seen many of his works, is he, he doesn't paint often 100% Maltese scenes that look like Maltese scenes. They, 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 are, they are tampered with and augmented. And the artistic licence has, dri has driven his pictures off, really, off the, the, com the commercial market. The, if, if you take the, the, the dual carriageway uh, from, the, from Slima to Miliha, you, you'll reach a point in the road near Marsavan, under Wadiha, above St Paul's, which looks out across to Salmon. And um, if you put Salmon Castle here, and you've moved this island to here, you, you, you could say that was... 100% St Paul's Bay area with Mr Bay here but for some reason he's put these little islands in the bay he has taken out Salmon or, ima or imagined it out and he's also put more hills behind it or blue sky that could be hills or could be sky so it's not top topographically accurate so that's why I'm hesitant to say it is Malta. Could it be Puglia? Could it be Greece? Could it be Sicily? I think it's going to be it's going to be derived from Malta because the houses are limestone; they're not painted, and it has the the right colour soil. The oak trees, or whatever trees they are, olive maybe fruit trees. I don't know. You, you have the 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 rubble wall. You you have enough stuff going on to make it look Maltese but I, as I say I can't locate it which is a real shame really because it's a lovely picture and it's a large picture it's oil on canvas and um, I'm quite disappointed that um, I can't I can't nail it and find the place so maybe someone else in Malta will know where it is this is quite a big settlement so we have a decorative uh, a decorative picture because it can't be placed, it, it renders it a, a furnishings picture and uh, it's not worthless, but it's good value. So we have it for sale in Malta. It is, nevertheless, I've been slagging it off for 10 minutes nearly, but it's still a lovely picture. And if you have the right place for it, that will introduce into your scheme all the, all the right colours that you expect in Malta and uh, it introduces greenery in a way which is not common in Malta so much in real life Malta now or even in painted Malta you don't see much in the way of fields vegetation and trees so and the, and the hills of course are green as well so, so you have this concoction I think it's a concoction uh, an imaginary place in Malta and it's for sale of Malta to someone who wants to give it a home. Thank you.